Hello guys, we're back in Creatison today. We're working on the family for the quaint suburban uh, that we built forever ago on the channel. And I, like, the the design for these characters had been in my head for a while. I just hadn't sat down to make them and then eventually I got so excited about other things that I just kind of forgot that I hadn't made them. And I went to click into that house and I was like, oh, there's literally nobody living here. So, allow me to introduce you to Andrew and Lacey Hansen. Andrew is aiming to be a software engineer. He's a goofball and a nerd brain and a genius. He looks super suave. Um, the randomizer came up with him all on its own. Uh, usually I hit the randomizer button four or five times and then like mess around a little bit with their, their facial features and stuff. But if left to my own devices, I always end up with some sort of alien. Not that that's a bad thing, but that's not always my intention. And like, I'm just as bad with the fake create a sim clay style of creation as I am with any sort of real life clay style creation. It is not my forte. And so I usually let the randomizer kind of give me the bones and then I'll figure it out from there. Um, but his styling went really quickly. Like he, I immediately knew, like first of all, a lot of his outfits didn't suck. Um, a lot of his like randomized townie outfits didn't suck. But I also just kind of was like, Basing him off a lot of guys that I know in real life, I was like, he's kind of real simple, t-shirts and jeans, anything that needs to be fancy. Honestly, probably his wife or girlfriend picked it out, that kind of thing. I have loved playing with the new hobbies and likes and things, so I gave him, I think he likes programming and likes, I know he likes jazz music because Lacey also likes jazz music and I'm really, really hoping they'll dance in their living room together because that is so cute. So he went really fast though. He was really easy to put together. Lacey, I knew I wanted her to be a chef. I knew I wanted her to like, you know, baking and cooking. And about this point I had decided jazz music was the thing they liked because I have watched a lot of sappy Hallmark movies lately. And I was like, they're gonna dance in their living room. And I was trying to figure out what I would want to listen to while they were dancing. And I decided jazz music would be fun. Um, Cause I didn't know what romantic sounded like. I don't actually very often play with sound which is probably awful because I know they make a lot of cues on the stuff, but I usually have like a YouTube video or a podcast or something going on, or I'm listening for something going on in the house because I have critters all over and I'm paranoid. Um, but anyways, I don't play with sound very often. So I was like, I have a rough idea of what jazz music means. I was like, I don't know what romantic music means. Anyways, I went off on a little bit of a bird walk. She... I didn't really have a style plan for her. I kind of wanted to do something akin to 1950s housewife, but not 1950s housewife. But I wanted her to be kind of traditional, I guess, in that, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Just very traditional, like likes dresses, likes being like, oh goodness, my chair is all squeaky today. Um, likes being dressed up, likes, you know, likes really things like likes being in dresses and wearing makeup and being put together but is also like wearing things that for the most part are practical i really really struggled with her formal i've really really been struggling with formal outfits in general lately with the sims i think it's because like in my head they only wear you know formal and stuff it seems like from weddings and stuff and so it's really hard to figure it i get stuck in a rut with formal and so i'm really in a rut right now i've been really struggling with it but I was trying to get her set up basically and just like, she's very happy to be newlywed. She's loving her career. She's kind of loving being like a part-time homemaker, just kind of like quaint. <laughs> and I, I realized very quickly that I didn't know what that looked like. Um, and there's a few people in my life who I was like, I want her to kind of dress like them. And I realized they all dress vastly differently and that didn't help. But basically like really empowered, awesome ladies who are also really awesome moms and wives and you know really just kicking butt at life and then I was like they're, they're great and I have no idea how to translate that into the sims so I struggled a lot with Lacey but I like the way she turned out and I'm really really excited to see how these two interact I saw it a little bit when I was trying to get screenshots to the point where I sent one of them to a different lot because they would not stop flirting with each other and hugging and she wanted to go autonomously cook which is great but I was trying to get screenshots and he wanted to go mess on the computer which is also good but very irritating <laughs> and so I think there's actually one screenshot of him where she's like in the background and I was like could y'all be separate for a minute for just like a minute 
but uh but yeah so and like i liked her in skirts i thought she was kind of a skirt person i am not a skirt person i would like to be a skirt person it is 102 degrees today like it would be nice to not be wearing pants i am just not a skirt person i am too i don't even know i'm just not a skirt person <laughs> Every time I wear a skirt, I have to like climb a tree or something. I'm not joking. Even when I was working as a substitute teacher, like I would wear skirts to work. And every time I wore a skirt to work, I had to like climb up and kill a spider or, you know, put a poster up in like the big old ceiling or I had to climb a ladder in the library. That kind of thing. It's crazy. Anyways, the, the screenshots are kind of dark. I do apologize about that. I, it, it, was a, it was a rough screenshot experience. But here are their outfits. I'm still kind of working on that template. I'm still not completely happy with it, but I do like the idea of the Polaroids. So let me know what you think of that. But I'll leave you here with the screenshots. I hope you enjoy Andrew and Lacey as much as I do. I can't wait to see them in their house and see how they progress and their storyline. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all soon.